my name's Richard Blewett. I'm the branch head or general manager of mineral systems here at Geoscience Australia. So it's called the Mineral Potential Mapper and it's the first national or continental assessment of the potential for nickel, copper and platinum group elements of any continent, in fact our continent here in Australia. And it's a pretty impressive map. We're lucky here at Geoscience Australia with a lot of expertise and some deep domain knowledge expertise and in fact this innovation came out of the team and it was one of the leaders of the, of the team and his he corralled the team and the, and the deep expertise within Geoscience Australia to come up with this, with this idea. It was based on more than 20 years of work. So the original idea of dealing with a mineral deposit as part of a bigger system actually came out of government, actually came out of Geoscience Australia. We are quite willing to take risks here at Geoscience Australia, particularly scientific risk. We recognise that there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of uncertainty with science endeavour and we're willing to take a punt and this was one. We were, felt quite comfortable in that uh, the line of approach we tried before at a regional scale but no one had tried it anywhere as far as we know on the continental scale that we have done here and achieved it. We were comfortable that if it didn't work we would have still learnt something. Look, some people in the team were a little nervous because this was two years as well and without a lot of progress. The work involved a lot of going into the data and there was a lot of data that were in, in individual places like data silos, data that had not really spoken to each other and so there were people who were really comfortable in that, in their data space and, and seeing how that would fit into this bigger picture was, was a challenge for some people so really it was about bringing those people on and uh, that was about the leadership of the team and the team leaders and perseverance and encouragement and the mentorship that was provided by those deep domain, domain knowledge people. We're happy to take risks. Um, we do have debates internally about our appetite for that, uh, but in terms of science, we're willing to try new things, certainly. Uh, we, you know, we're fortunate in that we are given quite a broad mandate. We've got to solve Australia's most important challenges with geoscience information. And so we've got many challenges facing us, and so applying science in innovative and creative ways is, is fantastic. So really there's no, there's no limit on what people can try. The idea of adding value to data that have been collected for the last 70 years and a part of the investment the Australian government has made in understanding Australia's geology was not a problem. Uh, I guess it was the, the magnitude of the task and the complexity of the data sets and the number of people and different skill sets that needed to come together. That was probably the, the, the tricky bit. But everybody after, after could see this, the, the purpose we were after and I guess with clear vision and an articulation of what we were trying to achieve, this map, uh, people got on board and, and we, worked, we worked through. It's part of the culture. I know it's a cliche to say it's part of our DNA, but I truly believe that. I've been here 26 years and have been encouraged to constantly innovate and think, think of new ways of doing things. And they can be from the little things to, to major achievements such as, such as this, but we have many examples of that. So I would say it, it permeates the agency. We slap each other on the back very proud, very, very, you know. Uh, we don't have, we have some, for, well no, we do have some formal um, acknowledgement through our um, staff awards at the end of the year, our age, annual general meeting and we have a mid-year mid review where we celebrate the achievements. We, uh, some of the innovative work that's done at Geoscience Australia is presented through publications and people get to go on development wards. We also have a lecture series that's available. We have eight a year that are available for the public that showcase the excellence of the work that's done here at Geoscience Australia. It certainly comes from our Chief Executive Officer and our Executive Board, our Chief Scientist. Certainly innovation and, and excellence is, is part of, the, part of our, our language. But it's right, right from our first, first recruits, we recruit some of the top top people in, in Australia through our grad program and they come in, they're fantastic people, so we look for the brightest and the best to come to Geoscience Australia. So I'd say they're right through the ranks from top to bottom and uh, side to side. Don't be afraid. Don't expect perfection. Sometimes just 80% is probably going to, be, it's going to be enough to actually unlock the value that you're really after. If you're trying to prove to 100%, and of course in science you can't prove anything, it's a hypothesis which is tested by others or yourself. Sometimes the 80% is enough. Have a go.